Hi guys, another day, another vlog, right? So I wanted to vlog today even though it's such a gross, miserable, rainy day outside. I don't even know what I'm gonna vlog, but I thought I wanna do it. And uh, a few days ago I actually got, that's why I thought I'm vlogging, I got all the ingredients for making sushi because you guys know I love sushi so much. Um, so I thought, why do I not try making it myself? And I'll film it so that you guys can see how I'm making it and how it turns out. By the way, I want you guys to get this sweatshirt because it's absolutely amazing. I've been wearing it loads. It has a nice hoodie on. It's from Zara. I got it in the sale. They have a stripy one and black one. I think there should be another color, like the gray one, but... I only saw those two and it's like so so stretchy and it's the the softest thing ever I think it's 100% viscose so it's so so extremely soft hmm. I just received a package and it's something from China and my breakfast can wait now. It's a packaging from Shein Side, and I actually ordered three dresses from Shein Side for my graduation. Well, they sent them for me, I just had to choose them. And I thought, well, I'll have a variety of dresses for my graduation to choose from. And they didn't send it. Look, when it arrived, I ordered like a month before my graduation, or like three weeks to a month before my graduation. My graduation was on 19th of December. I'm not satisfied with the, the shipping. Usually it doesn't take that long. It's because of the Christmas and stuff. But this is a thing I actually forgot I ordered from them. And this is something that I can wear now. And it's such a beautiful jumper. By the look of it, I'm gonna love it. It's a minty color and looks like I don't know, it looks like a natural material, not like polyester. Okay, so this is the first dress. It looks really, really pretty. It's this almost like scuba diving material, really thick. So it's like a little black dress. I don't have a little black dress. It looks nice, but what I loved the most about it is the back. It's open like that and it has like the scalloped edge detail. Wait, I'm gonna put it on the hanger so that you guys can see better. Okay, not sure how well you can see this, but this is basically what the dress looks like. See, it has this cutout at the back that looks really beautiful. And I think I should do like a proper haul video showing the dresses on. This one, it actually looked almost lilac on the website, but here, it's like a baby pink color, like a bubblegum pink. So I think, I don't know, maybe it's a bit too pink for me. I do have one like that in the peachy color that I wore to my friend's wedding, but because this one looked almost lilac, I thought it's gonna be different, but it's quite similar. I like the cutout on the back and the little pearls. Um, would have been cute for my graduation, but I think it's just gonna be like a birthday dress for the summer hi Louis. i really like the jumper it's just like a simple um like your basic simple jumper in a minty color i have to iron it but it's lovely i think i really like it a lot <laughs> i had my breakfast now i'm trying to finish my coffee and I want to try these chocolates I was sent by a subscriber yesterday because I've never had these before. Mmm, really, really good. Has a big hazelnut and then tiny pieces of hazelnut. It's actually almost identical to Rocher chocolates, the gold ones. By the way, I also have to film a homeware haul. You can see a bunch of things stacked there. I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I'm planning to film um, a homeware haul. So yeah, I have to do it. But it's so gloomy outside, the lighting would be really bad. 
So Louis, you took my place and you are watching YouTube videos now, right? <laughs> Guys, look at Louis. How oh, he's sleeping, it's so hilarious. He looks like a grandpa cat. I'm off to a grocery shop to get a few bits and bobs and then I'm gonna be making my sushi. So yeah, I didn't even change my outfit, I just put some jeans on. Puffy jacket, my tall leather boots, suede bag, not a good idea for rainy weather and a hat. So I'm choosing a planner. What? A honey and chocolate? Oh god. So cool guys. I'm not getting this but I wanted to show you why I love Rimi. They have this new already marinated. This is turkey and cranberry sauce. And this is chicken in honey and mustard sauce. And you just pop this in the oven with a bag and you have healthy dinner. Love these. They're currently on sale as well. I know. I wanna get this. Hi again. So I'm back home and... I'm gonna show you what I got in the grocery shop. Always Lou is very interested. I finally found chopsticks. Yeah, these were only one euro for the whole pack. So that's great. And my camera is running out of battery. Like, what the hell? Um, so I'll need to charge it before I make sushi. I got some lightly salted salmon for my sushi. I got, sorry, Louis. I got cucumber. I got three bananas. And then. I saw these ones. This is a new pasta and I love all kinds of pastas. Like, uh, it's one of my favorite foods in the world. And uh, I love spinach as well. So this is basically, I think it's Swedish. It's just a spinach pasta. And you don't need to do much. You just cook it and what does it say? Um, add some cream, some salt and pepper. And then that's it. You can eat it. It's gonna be delicious and it takes two minutes. So it's for like a really quick lunch. Um, thought it was gonna be nice. I got some cream for my coffee and for my tea. Panty liners. Um, then I saw these ones. These are new here and I think I'm gonna love these. These are pre-cooked with steam a la California mix. And basically here you get yellow beans, carrot and green beans. And these look amazing. I love fries, I don't always buy them. I usually like to buy potato halves and uh, roast them in the oven with some spices, some rosemary, olive oil and they're just so delicious. I have them with fish. But these are long and crunchy oven fries. Oh, my mouth waters when I look at them. I love fries, I don't eat them very often because they're not that healthy for you but I have a weakness for fries then I got some nacho chips these are just crispy corn chips because I told you guys when whenever I make guacamole I always get these corn chips I prefer these to the triangle ones what they're called taco chips or whatever I don't know but yeah the corn chips are my favorite these are amazing with guacamole there by Santa Maria. I then got two ripe avocados. I think I'm gonna use one for sushi and the other one for guacamole, maybe tomorrow. I kind of want to make guacamole and this one. Oh, I'm getting hungry just looking at everything. I got a chili for guacamole. This is organic oat drink. Um, I get it whenever I want to make smoothies because that's what I usually use for my smoothies instead of just using water to kind of um, make the texture more liquidy whenever I use bananas and I love the taste of oat drink or oat milk, whatever. It's really good. Then I got this one. This is my guilty pleasure. Chewy candy, gummies, jelly gums, whatever. They're my guilty pleasure. Like I eat them a lot and I love them. And it's better if they're sour. And then I got this really cute heart tray uh, or like little box to store my nail polishes because they don't fit in my nail polish storage box anymore. And I got this one. These are on sale at the moment. They have gray, black, mint. 
and pink. This is just a foul leather copy of Moleskin, and I thought it's gonna be. <laughs> Look at Louis! <laughs> and I got it for planning, like to plan my YouTube videos, things I need to do, things I need to film, just I don't know, just to get more organized. And I really like this one. These are on offer at the moment, so they're like five euros, I think. This is where I keep all my nail polishes and yes, I'm gonna do a nail polish collection video because you guys have been asking and these are all my polishes and I'm gonna put some of them here as well because as you see, I cannot even close this anymore. <laughs> He's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and start making sushi. So guys, I have all my ingredients for making sushi. I've got most of the things by this Saitaku brand. Sushi rice, wasabi paste, um, sushi soy sauce, rice vinegar, salmon, sushi nori, um, chopsticks, avocado, cucumber. I'm gonna prepare the rice as it is instructed here. Excuse my disheveled appearance, I don't have much makeup on. So, um, now I'm gonna prepare my rice. So you need 350 milliliters of cold water and you need 250 grams of uh, sushi rice. I've got 500 grams here, so I'm gonna use half the pack and you just put it into the cold water. Then what you have to do is bring it to the boil um, and once it's boiling, you have to let it simmer for 10 minutes with the lid on. And then after 10 minutes, you turn off the heat, leave the lid on and let it sit for 15 more minutes, but don't take the lid off. So as my rice is simmering, I'm gonna prepare my sushi rice marinade. So what you need for that is five tablespoons of rice vinegar. Take my tablespoon. One, two, that's gonna be my vinegar. Then you need one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. So this is for marinade. And um, you actually have to heat it a little bit, so maybe I'll put it in a microwave. Once the rice is done, you have to mix it in with the rice. I'm gonna prepare my ingredients, so I'm gonna chop my salmon, peel my cucumber and cut it in like long strings. Um, and then I'm gonna cut my avocado as well. The Asians are probably gonna laugh at me at my attempt, but hey, it's my first time ever. I've never made sushi in my life. So I have my sushi nori laid in front of me and here I have all my ingredients cucumber, avocado, salmon here's my rice, it's still too hot to use, it's very very sticky so you have to wet your hands with cold water before using it then I have my wasabi in here, I'm gonna mix it with soy sauce So this is what it all looks like. This is the amount of sushi I made and I'm gonna try it on camera. So, which piece should I pick? I think I'm gonna take this one. Looks really nice. This is my um, soy sauce mixed with wasabi. It's good, but something's wrong. I think the taste is salty. Maybe the salmon should have been just plain salmon without any salt. This is lightly salted salmon. It's not as good as in the restaurant, but it's... It turned out okay. I mean, it's my first time ever trying to make sushi. So it's okay, but it definitely could be better. Okay guys, so that's gonna be the end of my vlog video. Really hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! I should have palette the new uh, mixed metals. I should have palette the brush. Yes.